Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the first weekly check-in of February. It's already been a whole week. I know, I just know this month is going to fly by. So, let's get into it. If you haven't watched one of my weekly check-ins before, I have my key over here on this side, so I have gas in pink, fun in tan, and food in burgundy this month. And then all the stickers you see, including my expense labels, are from my Etsy shop. So if you're interested, you can always head on over to Etsy. Um, the link is in the description box, and there's also a coupon code there for my subscribers. So be sure to check that out. Um, I only had three food expenses when it comes to my cash envelopes, so that's what I will be tracking here. So let's go ahead and get those written down. So starting off on Tuesday the 2nd, I spent $5 at Starbucks. If you watch my check-ins regularly, you would see that I have started to develop my past Starbucks addiction once again. It's coming back. I used to go to Starbucks all the time and I stopped, but for some reason it's starting to become a thing again. So we will see. Next, I spent $12 at a local burger place called Mike's and I just got myself a cheeseburger combo with a Sprite I think I don't know why I'm telling you my order but um I believe that's what I ordered this day that was my only meal this day and I was starving and it was so good and I ate it like at 9 p.m. so it's not a good thing to wait till 9 p.m. to eat. I can tell you that. So, um, the last food expense I had was $6 at a candy store. I don't know um, what the store is called, so I'm just going to write candy on here. And that was on Sunday the 7th. But, um... George and I went to the mall because he needed to return um, some jeans that he had ordered and um, I heard that the candy store, because we went to the mall like a couple months ago, I want to say, and I remember passing the candy store and I was like, how is that a thing like that is crazy because it's one of those candy stores that has all the different like little drawers and you can like scoop however much you want into like a bag and I was like how is that open like you know right now with COVID but I found out that everything's pre-packaged so if you want something you just um tell them and then they give you like a little bag and obviously if you want more then they can give you multiple bags but everything comes pre-packaged like not even the workers package it it's like it's sent to them already packaged so that made me feel a little better so we did go there on um sunday and then the last thing i'm gonna put in is that i had a bill which was 34 dollars and that is my SPC mystery subscription. If you don't know what this is, it is a monthly sticker subscription, but the stickers that you get, they're planner stickers for one, um, but you, you don't know what you're gonna get. Like you don't know what kit it is. Um, so that's why it's like a mystery thing but it's pretty fun and cool and I like it so that always comes out on the first so now I'm gonna go through and put down my paydays and no spend days so for paydays 
had three actually. So we had Etsy and then my mom actually gave me money, which I still need to ask her about this because she didn't tell me. And then Violet is snoring. <laughs> sorry if you hear that. Well, I guess I'm not sorry, but just want to let you know that it's Violet so you know what's going on. Um, and then on Friday, I dropped off an order in person, which is really, really fun. So I got paid from that. And now I'm going to go through and put down my no spend day stickers, which I had a couple. And these are kind of bigger obviously than the past like the classic font um so I don't know how exactly this is going to fit with the payday sticker you know because I need to put one on um I think it might just have to overlap And go ahead and put this on this day and then technically Monday as well is a no spend day because just my bill came out which was budgeted for um but I'm just gonna leave that as is and move on so let's go what am I saying let's go ahead and flip to my weekly check-in page which I really like how this page looks this month So, here we are. So starting off with gas and fun are both at zero spent. And then for food, let's go ahead and add this. So we have five plus 12 plus six is 23. And then we did not have anything unbudgeted this week, so we're just going to do that. And then um, let's do remaining. So for gas, I budgeted $25 a week, so that's $100 for the month. I feel like I'm writing really weird today. Sorry about that. Fun has $15 a week, so that's $60 for the month. And then food had 45 a week, so that is 180. So we have 180 minus 23 is 157 remaining for the month, which is super, super good. And now I can go ahead and walk you through the rest of my pages because there has been quite a bit going on in my life so first off we have my business transaction log which I am pretty sure I'm going to have to use one of these other pages which obviously is fine because it's still part of the month um, because I've already used this many lines in one week and if I keep up that amount this will be like two weeks and then three weeks will already need more room so we will see of course but I do think I will be using another page um, but so far I have just bought a ton of labels I what is this Amazon purchase oh I ordered sticker paper and then more labels and then I bought the food for my seafood boil mukbang which I combined here but you will see it um, more detailed in my sinking funds transaction log then more labels I went to Michael's for some paper for some new stuff coming to the shop which I'm really excited about and then I went to Walmart to buy lamination sheets and last but not least I bought some more labels and then here I have my sinking funds transaction log if this page looks a little busted that's because it is so I'm sorry 
but this transaction log script was like off to the side and I seriously could not just let it go um so I had to move it but obviously it's a sticker so that didn't go so well so I ended up like taping it so I'm sorry if that looks a little crazy but I did my best to make it look okay um but here is my sinking funds transactions so um a lot of business ones which michaels and walmart carried over from this one if you're curious as to why i have things crossing over from here to my business um like transaction log it's because i have a business sinking fund so if i ever pay anything in cash then I write it on both because I need this to keep track of that sinking fund and then I need my business transaction log to just keep track of my business expenses as a whole. So that's why I do both. But um, first was Aldi for $30 and then Walmart for $31. Those were both for the seafood boil. And then once again, Michaels was paper, Walmart was lamination sheets. And then last but definitely not least, I spent $48 on Amazon for George's um, Valentine's gifts so I did that last night Sunday night and I'm super excited for everything to come in um, and then let me make sure I'm still filming yes I am um, the last page I have to show you is my income page here which I've already kind of explained but that is it for the first week of February. It was an eventful one. I had a couple expenses and then a ton of just like sinking funds and business expenses, which is always good. But I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are not subscribed, please, please, please consider subscribing because you are watching my videos and I'm hoping and assuming that you enjoy them if you made them made them if you made it to the end so please do that if you'd like and I will see you all in my next one bye guys